What is up, you guys? Here we are back in the lab to give you Local Diary Day 6, I believe. Probably have the title updated if it's not Day 6, probably Day 7. Don't remember since I had missed last week. But here we are. We're going to head over to Holiday to play Math Mech this week, as I firmly believe that the cyber strategies are making a comeback since this deals and tier limits have faded out of this meta. So let's head on over to the Holiday to hopefully top this event. What is going on you guys? Here we are back at Holler. Our so I kind of messed up and totally forgot to record in between rounds. So here's a little catch up. Round one, decided to go in playing Math Mech today. I put it against my good old friend who was playing Shadal Invoked. Uh, game one was just a sweep for me. Game two, Debarriered, being able to search it out with Laplacian really comes, or sorry, not Laplacian, Alan Bershian really comes up clutch. So I won 2 on that one. Get round two, go up against Brandadespia, and he was playing the Bistules, so I kind of got boned over in games two and three. Uh, but game one, it was a four minute game. Just access coded him for game. Games two and three were a little bit more of a battle. Uh, just didn't have the right outs, didn't draw into the right cards I needed. And I'm also not the very best pilot of Math Mech, so. If we're gonna be honest there. So I took the L there. Game round three went up against Trap Tricks, and this is a fun one, as I also have Trap Tricks myself. And game one was a pretty easy sweep, just access code again. Just being able to go into that access code line, access code line, sorry. It's really easy, really simple, does the magic. Game two is a bit of a fight, uh, but I eventually was able to get into my access code, wipe his board, and kill him for game. So we're still waiting on a couple of the guys to report and we'll go in, but I think I might be in the top seat for today. So stay tuned. So here we are back in the lab, ready to give you that third place deck profile for my Math Mix. Overall, really great turnout, 10 people today. And it was just fun overall. Sorry again that I did not get much footage in between the rounds and during the rounds, but hey, we'll hopefully do better next time. So without further ado, let's head on over, show you the deck profile. All right, so here we are to show you that deck profile. Again, huge shout out to Inked Gaming for getting me this playmat. It looks phenomenal. So let's get on to the profile. Um, Math Mech has, just has a pretty standard lineup that we'll run through. Uh, triple circular as it lets you pitch any of your Math Mechs. Typically you're wanting to pitch the Sigma, which we played two copies of. Sigma is really great because if you control the monsters, extra monster zone, special summon it, which will then trigger off circular's effect, add a math mix more trap. And then from there, you, you've got tons of combo lines that you can play, and it all really depends on the situation. So we also do accompany it with triple diameter. Diameter is just really great within itself. It's darn shame it took forever to get it, along with circular. But hey, math mix is just really great. Then we play two addition and two subtraction as they are just free extenders. And speaking of extenders, we do play triple parallel XE, which for any cyber strategy, I think this is a really good option. And a lot of decks play it, like Trap Tricks for instance, they play this if it's an easy access into rate fours. Scareclaw played it a while ago, and it is just a phenomenal card. If you're not playing it, I would consider it. And again, it really depends on what strategy you are playing. Like Rancess does not really benefit from it, but any of the other cyber strategies is pretty good. Which cyber strategies are very well known for having a small engine and lots of hand traps. So we play Triple Nibiru, Triple Ash, Triple Ghost Bow, Double Lancia, and Triple Infinite Impermanence. So the card that really came up the most, and unfortunately I saw the most, was Ghost Bell. Uh, Ghost Bell being able to hit some of the branded stuff, shit all stuff, and Traps Tricks stuff was really good. Honestly, I'm pretty sure I actually cited it out against Trap Tricks because it just really didn't come up, along with the Artifact Lancia. But against Shit All Invoked and Branded, Lancia was really great since my branded player was playing the Despi or the Bistial stuff. Being able to pull the Lancia on his turn so he couldn't extend was good and phenomenal. During my turn, was unfortunate. The Nibiru didn't come into play until the Trap Tricks player, but I kept it in anyways uh, throughout my matches. It was just a really good extender, or just a good have 
on the side, and then Ash is just Ash, along with Imperm. Um, but Lancer was just kind of a last minute throw in. I really didn't know what to put in its place. I debated between Ghost Ogre, uh, Effect Veiler, and I decided to play Lancia and just take a chance, and it paid off in some of my matches. Next, for the spells, we do play the one equation, which is common. Um, you can up it to two if you really need it. And I, I constantly go back and forth between playing one or two, but it is up to you again. Then we play Triple Small World, as this is just a really good bridge into from any of your hand traps into engine cards or engine into hand traps. It is really great. And then some of my sideboard stuff also will take into effect having Small World. Then we do play Triple Sign at Mining, as this is just really great to get into some of your other combo pieces like Small World. Then we play Double Desires and double, and then one called by. The Double Desires is just meant for draw power. It's really it. Uh, called by was sighted out a lot, so that's a flex spot if you really need it. Or if you're seeing a lot of hand traps in your locals, then play it by all means. And then lastly in the main, we do play the one Super Factorial. Uh, just a really great card to have. Plays into you know your Laplacian on your opponent's turn. Or if you're playing the Synchros, you know, it, again, can come up on your opponent's turn. But just really good and strong card overall. Next, for the extra deck, we do play one Alan Burshian and one Laplacian. Honestly, I am thinking of upping this ratio up to two apiece. As against my branded matchup, that's when I really wanted having a second copy. And it was unfortunate that I didn't have a second copy of both. But that's that's on me. Follow with Link 1, we play the 1 Link Garibo, 1 Link Disciple, 1 Link Devotee, and 1 Link Spider. The Link Garibo was just primarily to hit the evenly matched if that ever came up. Also against Trap Tricks, this card came up in clutch, being able to stall on that. The Disciple Devotee line is also just really good, just being able to draw, place a card back, a dead card like Desires for instance. And Link Spider was for the Nibiru, but never came up, so probably would have pulled this out and placed one more copy of those. For Link 2s, we play the one IP Mascarina, the Wicked, Splash Mage, and Update Jammer. IP Mascarina is pretty self-explanatory. If you're playing the Nightmare Package in your Math Mech, you know, you go into math Nightmare Unicorn. Uh, for me, I am playing Apollosa, so that's also an option when you go into Link Disciple Devotee. Wicked just gets you any tuner, mage and update. It's really just for the access code line. As for our link threes, we play one heat soul, one transcode. Heat soul just a draw into engine traps, hand traps, whatever. Transcode is just this engine right here to get into access code talker. Then for our link fours, one Apollosa, one access code, or two access codes actually. Uh, if you can't afford the access code talker, it's understandable. I am honestly probably thinking of dropping an access code so I can play another copy of Laplacian and Alan Burshian again. But if you can't afford the access code, Avermax was just reprinted in Maze of Memories and is a little bit affordable. And it is also just a good Link 4 to have, especially in a cyber strategy. So that is all for the extra deck. Let's move on to the side deck. So the side deck is, again, depending on what you're seeing at locals, it's all up to your discretion, however you want to play it. I did side in the Math Mix Final Sigma and the Geomath Mix Magma uh, for the Super Factorial. Never came up, but they were there just in case to have them. Then I play the one Danko Seca, one Lava Golem. Lava Golem and Danko Seca can be bridged with Small World, which is really great. This is primarily hit Trap Tricks and Labyrinth, Castira, or any deck that just really puts up anything that's threatening. Branded at times, just getting rid of the Dragoon and Mirror Jade, and proceeding to OTK comes up, but never came up in my matches. And then speaking of the last hand trap, Ghost Ogre, um, again, this was a flex spot. You can put whatever. I primarily put it in for those trap decks to hit the Sarah, just to get rid of it, really. Yeah, that's that. As for some spells that I put in, I had Triple Tactics, Harpies, and Book of Eclipse. Since Alan Burshin can search these, it was just nice to have them just in case he needed them, like against Trap Tricks, Labyrinth, Kashtira, for follow up, or Triple Tactics just to have. 
I never cited in any of these surprisingly, so they are up for your debate if you want to play them or not. And then for traps, I played triple evenly and the one D barrier. D barrier is really situational in this format, I get. But knowing that I see a lot of branded Despi at my locals, this was just a good one to have and it did come up and it was really awesome to just lay it out on the shit all invoked and unfortunately it couldn't against the branded Despia, but I did have it. And then the evenly matched was just there just because it's really great in this format right now. Searching it off of Alan Bershian, or even just playing one copy of it or playing all three and then drawing into it. It's really great, especially when you're going second. But that is all for my Mathmec deck profile. Uh, it's really fun to play, and I'm not the best pilot currently for it. But as I work towards it, it will definitely be a fun one to play again in the future. So if you like content like this, and you're wanting to see more, stay tuned as we will have more content for you. So we'll catch you in the next one.